Sri Chinmoy is a spiritual teacher who has fostered goodwill internationally and inspired people from all walks of life with his philosophy, writings, poetry and art. Sri Chinmoy was born in 1931, Bengal, North India and was brought up in a spiritual community in South India where he lived for over 20 years before coming to America in 1964. Since coming to the West, he dedicated his life to spreading the universal message that all of us can and will be united as a world family in the pursuit of peace. Sri Chinmoy's approach to meditation is based on the path of the heart. He teaches that by silencing the mind and focusing on our spiritual heart, we can discover the inner peace and joy which are hidden deep within. Meditation is a very, very simple subject, if you call it a subject. We try to silence our mind. Here, at every moment, we are at the mercy of thoughts. Sometimes it is good for, uh, most of the time, thoughts are uncomely, uninspiring. But when you meditate, we silence our mind. And once we s can silence our mind, we feel, we, we inside, inside our mind, soulful thoughts, inspiring thoughts, illumining thoughts, and fulfilling thoughts. So meditation is the only way to silence our mind and the divine qualities that are inside the mind we can bring to the fore by virtue of proper meditation. Sri Chinmoy opened his first meditation center in Puerto Rico in 1966 and from these humble beginnings founded meditation centers in over 60 countries around the world. He encourages a balanced lifestyle that incorporates the inner disciplines of prayer and meditation with the dynamism of contemporary life. Sri Chinmoy's path is based on the ancient tradition of yoga and an integral approach to spirituality. This encompasses meditation, selfless service, music and self-transcendence through sport. Sri Chinmoy's own life was an expression of boundless creativity, offering striking contributions in the domains of music, poetry, painting, literature and sports. A keen sportsman himself, in 1977, Sri Chinmoy founded the Sri Chinmoy Marathon Team as a service to the running community and to help promote spiritual growth through sports. Over the years, the Sri Chinmoy Marathon Team has become one of the world's largest sponsors of ultra-distance running, including the world's longest certified race, the self-transcendence 3100-mile race. Sri Chinmoy frequently travelled throughout the world to offer lectures, public meditations and free concerts. During his travels, he often met with world leaders to cultivate shared values of spirituality and peace. My beloved what? President, my heart is infinite, infinite gratitude and gratitude to you. Ah, thank you very much. Thanks a million. I'm really honored to take part. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm going to go to the Oh, I see. Okay. That's okay. Because uh, to be appreciated, by an organization like yours is a real shot in the arm and I'm very grateful to you. But I wish you of good luck and success in what you're doing. It's in the interest of the entire humanity and the world. In the Russian way. We can do it in the Russian way. I'm very glad to see you. Yeah, I should know. <laughs> In 1970, at the initiation of the then Secretary General Yu Tand, Sri Chinmoy began conducting twice weekly meditations for United Nations delegates and staff, a service that continued until his passing in 2007. In 1987, Sri Chinmoy founded the Sri Chinmoy Wonders Home Peace Run a global torch relay 
that offers everyone the chance to express their longing for peace. Since its inception, the Peace Run has touched the lives of millions of people around the world. I strongly feel that the world is progressing. In the, the world has a sincere hunger for peace. Sometimes we unfortunately enter into where we wage war and so forth, but in the very depths of our hearts we are all longing for peace, a oneness home. So the future is quite bright and I am an optimist. I always see the bright side of human life because um, our source is God and He is all light uh, and all delight. So eventually we are um, going to our source and it is through a life of peace, a oneness heart that we can uh, reach our source which is infinite delight.